Me when my phone suggests I should sign up for a new social media platform called Jerkmate. I'm always game for a new assignment, you know that. My ex-wife asking me to take out the rubbish. I'm gonna say this to you politely. Get rid of the f***ing garbage! Me when my seven-year-old niece gave me a homemade Christmas card with a spelling mistake on the message inside. Get out! Get, enough. Get out! You're not good enough! Me when my ex-wife asked me to change position during sex. Let me just, let me just quickly swivel around here. How I react when the supermarket checkout person wishes me a happy new year. Well, thank you very much. Do you know, I've had a dreadful year. I've had more ups and downs than a horse draws. What YouTube fragrance reviewers really think of their viewers. You're all fools! Absolutely pathetic! Me when the Uber driver delivers my pizza. Firstly, let me say thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. And uh, I gotta tell you, we thank you for your service. What I say when someone finds out I'm into fragrances and says their two favorites are Dior Sauvage and Bleu de Chanel. Those are for losers. Losers who can't afford real shit. And this was me saying goodbye to the other YouTubers at the end of the UK Fragrance Reviewer Christmas Social. I'm done standing here with a bunch of idiots. Fuck you all, good luck. Superstars. Don't forget if you want to buy fragrance samples in the USA, Canada, or Puerto Rico. Follow the link in the description and get 15% off with my code Mr. 15 at myfragrancesamples.com. Guys, welcome back to the show. So today, uh, fun one, I'm gonna do my top five new finds, new buys for me of this year. And they are all buys. I bought all these with my own money. So they're not released necessarily in this year. These are the top five fragrances I added to the collection this year. I bought quite a few, I don't know, dozens and dozens, not hundreds, but I bought a lot. And I, th I think, I think, I think these are my five favorites. So there's something for everybody. There's expensive ones, cheap ones. They are my taste in fragrances mostly. So, you know, I haven't thrown in a heavy oud or or a gourmand to give it balance. I've just picked what I like. And there might be more than five. It Maybe it's six. I can't remember. But anyway, whatever, whatever. Let's get into it then. Here goes with the list. First one then, real simple one. Not really the perfect one for this time of year, but who cares? Eau de Givenchy. Eau de Givenchy is a fantastic Neroli Soapy Citrus Fragrance. If you like things like Neroli Portofino, find it a bit expensive for what it is. Uh, performance on that. Some people say not great. I get really, really good performance on this one. Just classic orange blossom Neroli, super fresh, out the shower. I think it's marketed more towards women. It's a re-release. I think it might have been a 2017, 2018 release. Fantastic stuff. You can pick it up on the discount sites. And just a real go-to when I can't think what to wear. I want to smell fresh in the spring and summertime and, and sometimes even in the winter. So Eau de Givenchy, although no, it hasn't reinvented the wheel, I was really happy to get that in the collection. And you can see from the usage there, guys, I used a lot of that stuff. Oh, quick one, quick, 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 quick. I should mention, this was a new acquisition. I, well, I didn't buy it, but I kind of paid for it to be made. So in a way I did. Uh, bon Viveur by my brand, Norton & Wilson. Amazing fresh fragrance. Just so thrilled that we brought this out this week, this year. And if you want to get Bon Viveur and Gravitas Pour Homme from my brand, Norton & Wilson, just follow the link in the description. At the time of making this video, running uh, into the, the new year, 2022, we've got a special offer. You can buy both fragrances, this one and Gravitas, for only £140. That's the best two-bottle offer we've ever done. That's $190. $90 if you're in the USA. Link in the description. If you're in the States or Canada, they ship from over there in America. And if you're in the UK, they ship from in the UK. Don't miss out, guys. Okay, so moving on to stuff, what I actually bought that's uh, not my own brand. Well, yeah, what should we do next? I'm going to go with this one, actually. I think next, Paul Sebastian Fine Cologne. Just got this in the last month of the year, December. Paul Sebastian Fine Cologne. What a great fragrance. This is actually superb, spicy fougere fragrance. Absolutely lovely. Uh, really kind of powdery, lavender, spices, herbs. It's got that almost a hint of brute by Fabergé, but it's more high quality than that. It's leaning a little bit, even towards... It, well, it's got a bit of Pinard Clubman, but it, then it leans a bit, I think, dare I say this towards Invasion Bar Bar by MDCI. This was a late 70s release, so obviously didn't copy that. Love the Art Deco bottle design. Great cheapy. People had banged on about this for ages that I should get it because I'd probably like it. You know what? They were right. Paul Sebastian, fine cologne, real favorite in the collection. So happy to add that one. Next up, we're going to go for a Creed. 
fascinating new book out by Gabe Oppenheim on the, uh, the the ghost perfumer. It's called The Story of Creed. And you know what? Whatever's gone on there with the history of Creed, I'm still a massive fan of the scents themselves. Under the Radar Gem from Creed. I bought this only this year for the first time. And this one is Royal Water, an amazing citrus aromatic. Beautiful, crisp, airy opening, lovely citrus opening accords. And then there's this lovely, beautiful sprig of mint in there with some floral tones and the cr classic creed dry down of maybe that ambergris that clings to your clothes i maintain they have some captive ingredients that i think are superb and truly special it's got the creed mass magic it's an underrated under the radar gem royal water from creed do not miss out on this one guys i'm so thrilled to have this in my you know rather large creed fragrance collection next up guys it's something cheap aqua de pino cologne from pino silvestre the people who gave you that funny little fragrance with the green uh, kind of cone shaped bottle anyway aqua de pino cologne absolutely superb citrus aromatic beautiful juicy citrus melange in the in the beginning as max forty would say a bit of a kind of tangerine note like a sweet citrusy orangey note really really nice and then beautiful kind of airy florals in the mid really sticks to your clothes a white musky undertone again just absolute classic kind of spick and span out the shower a bit more fun and different in a way than eau de givenchy that juicy citrus thing reminds me weirdly a bit of uh, renaissance from zergia of 1861 renaissance this was a 2021 release that did come out this year only about like 25 pounds or something for 125 mil really really brilliant really recommend this for anyone man or woman if you like your citrus aromatics aqua de pino cologne if you'd like to see an extra video from me every week, sign up to my Patreon group. It's only $2 a month. There's a link in the description. And we have loads of interesting stuff going on in there. I do a lot of fragrance stuff, of course, but I also talk about some other things to do with my life. It's really fun, and I hope to see you in there. As I say, you can follow the link in the description or just go to Patreon and type in Mr. Smelly 1977 Okay, keeping things affordable, love my vintage fragrances and Cellini, or some say Cellini, but I'm thinking Cellini from Fabergé, discontinued, long discontinued, early 80s release. Got it only in the aftershave form. It's a citrus aromatic with Chypre leanings. Has my bottle aged a bit? The plastic cap's broken, I know that. It's got that classic feel, the old oak moss, bitter citrus mixed with green notes, lots of kind of kitchen herbs, rosemary and all that kind of thing in there. Really, really complex, classic old school, uh, lavender, oak moss, woods dry down, really, really masculine, absolutely phenomenal stuff. Reminds me a bit of the original 70s Gucci pour on, the first one from the mid 70s, not, not the, the 2000s release. Absolute stunner and just love the bottle design. This gives me as much pleasure to receive in the post as a fancy pants uh, niche fragrance that costs hundreds and that was like 25 pounds hard to find though discontinued of course long ago on e you can find it on ebay last but not least this one was expensive roger scandal i think i got it very early this year forgive me if it was late 2021 2020 whatever the last year was roger scandal has shades of um eau sauvage vintage version from dior but it's not a copy a clone it, i no 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 it's just not it's not similar also to zerzhov's fiero but there's differences just incredible longevity this is the parfum version which i think you should go for it costs a lot of money the packaging is stunning it's so me it's ridiculous it makes me feel posh yes i am taken in by the beautiful bottle design and the marketing a bit Roger Dove has created one of my absolute favourites here. Huge range from him, but this is the one that is just so me. Roger Scandal, absolutely love it. Great citrus, aromatic, stroke fougere, some say. Complex, airy, sticks to the clothes a long time. High, high quality stuff. I really like this one from Roger. So that was it, guys. Let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. I will see you in the next video. Whatever you're doing in life, let's project. And sometimes life may stink, but we can always smell good. Uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh. One, two, three. Testing, testing. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Ah, that's enough testing. Enough. Me when my... Me when my phone suggests I should sign up for a new social media platform called Jerkmate.